tonight's big story. Most people in Featherville packed up and headed out last night as the Trinity Ridge fire continued to inch towards that town. And tonight, more than 1,200 firefighters are on the front lines. They're waiting to battle this fire, waiting for a shift in the weather, and homeowners are waiting to see if this fire will destroy everything that they have worked so hard for. Our Eric Fink spent the weekend in time, and he has tonight's big story. Jenna, some people were forced to evacuate yesterday, and today they're wondering if they'll have a home still standing in a week, while others who continue to pack up hope the flames don't take out their property. And one pine couple tells me if they lose their home, they don't think they'll be able to bear the rebuilding efforts. It would just be devastating. I don't mean to cry, but... A lot of money, a lot of love. Shirley Hall is preparing to leave her dream home. She's just hopeful if she and her husband Gary leave this cabin, it's still standing when they return. We're ready. Let's get it done. You know, everybody sitting on pins and needles and wondering when it's coming. I think that's the tough part. We're just waiting it out. That's all you can do. And uh, don't make any big plans to do anything different. Just stay here and hang on. As much as I don't like seeing snow here, uh, me and the neighbors, I'm sure, would like nothing more than to have 24 to 30 inches of snow right here, right now, and we'd be happy. Dozens of people gathered Sunday at the Pine Senior Center to get an update from firefighters who continue to battle the very active Trinity Ridge Fire, burning more than 83,000 acres, just miles away from the heart of this small countryside community. Sunday, cool weather and overcast skies kept flames away keeping firefighters clearing brush. The halls moved to Pine in 2008. They don't like the look of the smoke-filled skies hovering above their town Sunday, but they are so attached to their friends and neighbors and a home filled with what they call character. The halls bought this Pine property 18 years ago. Gary made this outdoor-style kitchen with his bare hands, and now he and others in this community sit and wait. Wondering if in a week's time, this landscape will look quite different. How hard would it be for you to, to evacuate? I'll have lots of tears in my eyes when that happens. You know, it's just, it's hard to keep your emotions together when, when you're afraid you're going to lose your home. And, and when you leave, you don't know what's going on. Tonight, Incident Command says firefighters will most likely go on the attack, battling this fire heavily, Monday or Tuesday. This offensive plan includes setting back burns to burn fuels in hopes of slowing the fire's progress towards Featherville. But right now, the fire needs to pick up speed in order for those back burns to occur. An estimated full containment time not until October 1st. Stay with Today 6 and Fox 9 for the very latest on the Trinity Ridge Fire. We'll have updates throughout the day Monday. Eric Fink, Fox 9 on your side. Meantime, the